Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial I will show you how to make a damage to the player health when he fall from a high platform. So if I go play, for example, I made this platform so high. So if I fall and I can apply damage to the health and maybe kill the player. So I will do this inside C++. So I will go to the IDE, it's right there. So I will make a two U properties. Okay, so let me, for example, copy this one and paste that and leave that category of health and I will call this float max health and by default it's equal sorry by 100 and also health health and it will be float and it will be the health itself and by default it's equal to the max health okay and let me do an extra stuff. I can use meta and I will use uh, max clamp max. So I can clamp that value by putting 100. Okay. So basically you can override that value inside the editor. Okay. So I say edit anywhere you can override that 100 and make it for example 400 but for this purposes purpose i will make that clamp to 100 okay and also clamp min and i will say it's equal to zero please and these are by default how you enter that value but i need more other stuff i can do ui min and max so let me do ui max and also equal to 100 and the last one is u min and it will equal to zero so basically clamp max is clamping this value to by 100 and clamp min will clamp that by zero ui max is basically i will show you later on it's showing this arrow you can't you can also do this by the arrow you can clamp that okay i will show you so i made these two variables max health and health now let me do a function called void uh, damage on fall okay and i made this function so let me generate that definition please for me and basically this will be called when the player has been landed so let me go i already made that landed or virtual void landed it's already for the for you and i will call this function damage on fall okay so this function will calculate the velocity of the player so if i play now for example let me show you if i play let me eject basically the player is fall falling okay when the falling is has been done i'm checking for the velocity but just in the z velocity just in the z axis so i need to make a check just in the z axis so i will say a float for example i'll call this player mm. velocity on z and i will say please get velocity dot z okay now i will get that velocity of this of this character and every character and actor in unreal engine has a velocity i will getting just the z value so let me also make another u property and call this the category of damage and I will call this as a float please as a call fall height and it will equal by default to 1000 okay so I will compare with that value I can change that value later on in the engine so I will say now uh, let me log this why not let me log you log this and i will show you uh, let me say u e log log temp 
warning, please and does the text macro and say player velocity and z is this value and it can pass as a float which will be this let me compile that it's warning because it's same cost um, i will i won't do any cost for this let me build so it has been successfully built let me go and play i will show you in the log itself so if i jump now it's showing this value okay negative 2000 maybe 200 i don't know so it's basically saying in the negative i need now to compare that value by a positive value so i need to negate that so let me do this player z velocity please multiply by that equals to negative one okay it's the same thing as you say hey player z velocity is equal to player z velocity by negative one okay so this one is the same as this okay so let me do this now and compile let me build that it has been built let me go back and play and now it should be a positive value okay it's maybe i need to restart my editor let me restart the editor and recompile so after i restart my editor and recompile now the value will be in positive so let me now compare that value with the fall height so mm, let's say let me do this now i say if the player z velocity is greater than the fall height the fall height and i will log for, for example the health i will drink decrement the, the health itself so i will say health please is equal to f math please f math and i will clamp that between the health negative by uh player z velocity divided by I will divide it by for example a 50 because the number is too high i will divide it by that and i will say between 0.0 f and the max health okay and let me log that so let me log this let me cut that and now instead of player call this player health okay and i will pass the health let me compile now and see. So it has been compiled. Let me go and play now. Now, when I fall, by default, the health is 100. Now, if I fall now, it's that. Okay. So you, you can also run that number if you like. It's up to you. You can also use an F math around that number. You can say f math for example and round to int all these and make it a rounded int okay so but for this now I'll, you, I'll keep it as a float now basically i saying player z velocity divided by this number so if i decrease that number make, let's make it 20 and compile and build before it was 57 i believe let me compile and see it has been compiled let me go and play maybe i need to let me recompile that and now if i play now it was before 57 i believe now if i fall now it's saying you are dead because the health value is now zero so basically you can make this uh value as as a u property and call this fall damage you can also make this let me call this and copy and say float and it will be the fall damage and let let me say that by equal to 440 for example and this is will be the fall damage how much i can apply a fall damage to the player so 
let me instead of using that value now i can say a hey, damage not fall damage on fall fall damage and let me compile now build the solution and now if i play now the damage has been done so basically you can make this value this value is the fall damage how much you can apply damage to the player on the z velocity okay so now let me pause this video or why not let me let me continue and make that easy because i already have a widget maybe blueprints do i have a widget inside yes this is, you have a widget let me make progress bar and this progress bar will be the health of the player so let me create a binding for that and i will do this a quick get player character and i will cast to third person character and please get me the health and do this but before i hook this before i hook that value because this value is going from 0 to 100 and this value for this one is a normalized one so it's basically saying from zero to one so i need to also to, to divide that by 100 so it will be a normalized thing so compile and build okay so let me play now and i will have this progress bar so if i jump i will have applied a damage okay so this is how you can make a file of damage on fall at me go to the third person now as I sh to, uh, as I told you before I will show you that so if I go to the class defaults and now in this search and just type health please sorry health and this is the both value so by default it's 100 okay you can also clamp that but I said that you, you can turn that off I'm showing you that you but you won't you can sorry you can't make that as a visible anywhere blueprint read only where are you this one you can make that visible anywhere okay so uh, the the important thing is the max health so as you see it's you can't go above 100 and also you can't go beneath zero so when you say clamp we go back when you say clamp max it's saying hey you can't go above if you it's typing that if i say 300 sorry you can go if i say for example negative 600 sorry you can go it's saying these value clamp max and clamp min ui max and ui min is this if i just return that i show you this two arrow okay you can drag and drop and you can do this okay okay so basically if i if I, if I use the control, I believe, yes, I, I'm pressing the control on my keyboard, I can go slowly, okay? And this is how you can apply a damage on fall, basically. You can maybe hook this, and let me also go back to the class default and say damage, and how much damage you can apply. Maybe you can apply, for example, uh, 30 and compile and play now if i go and fall it will have been applied more damage now this value because since it's sorry let me go back and class devils damage and because this value is has been divided so it's need to be to be decreased okay so this is how you make a falling damage inside unreal engine 5 with c plus plus i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the future bye